Hey Zwifters, set your ID here. I'm going to show you a neat little Zwift hack that I've developed to help improve your overall Zwift experience. I've been a bit quiet lately, but I've certainly not been idle. So you may have seen some of my previous videos where I've shown how to get landscape mode in the Zwift mobile link application, or to get some performance enhancements out of the desktop side, or even some of the automation around you know, clicking an icon to both launch Swift and then log in without having to type your password in and, and have to deal with the keyboard and the mouse. So this is kind of a culmination of a few of those stitched together to provide a little bit more seamless experience. What I've got in front of me is my phone on the right, I've got my MacBook here on the left, and I'm using remote desktop on my MacBook to log into my Zwift rig, which is downstairs in the pain cave. You can see that, you know, this is a real Windows machine. I just happen to be remoted into it. And I'm filming this holding another phone in my hand, so I apologize if it's a bit shaky, but I'll try to straighten that out. On my phone, I've got a single icon on the screen here that says Launch Swift PC. I will tap that icon and you'll see the magic. Now launching Swift. Right on. So what you just saw was a single icon on my phone screen that I used to both launch the Zwift mobile link application and then also trigger the Zwift desktop application to run on my Windows rig downstairs in the pain cave. And of course, my phone has the landscape workaround as well, so if you wanted to use Zwift mobile link in landscape mode, that's also possible. The next extension of this, of course, is to remove the need for the icon altogether by putting an NFC tag on my bike's handlebars. That way, I just simply have to tap my phone to my handlebars and then it would launch Swift Mobile Link, which would then trigger the desktop application to launch as it is here. And I don't have to touch a keyboard or a mouse or anything at all just to move this forward. That's it. Hope this is helpful, everybody. I'll write this up. I'll try to get this documented so anybody else can do this on their own. But uh, this really does help improve things. Thanks a lot, everyone. Right on.